penalty. So check called into action. Javier Mascherano characteristically losing the ball. You see what I've been complaining about. What? What? How will you know? When you sit here all day watching television, when your niece is out there cultivating trouble for us. Edna, what is the matter again? Can't we have some peace in this house? Ugo, you will soon have pieces. I said you will soon have pieces. The way your niece goes out and comes back anytime she likes, you will soon have pieces. Edna, Cynthia is an adult. By the way, it's just, uh, just 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Is it too late? Hey. That useless girl leaves the house as early as 6 o'clock in the morning without doing her domestic chores? Come back anytime she likes? My dear, 4 o'clock is late. Do you get me? It is very, very late. What is the matter with you? A skull. Question and answer. Look. Edna, uh, you, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even understand why you're encouraging your knees to be wayward and useless. Hey. <laughs> You sound as if you care so much. Oh, about yes, oh. Yes, I care. I care because I don't want her corrupting my daughter. I don't want her sitting around my house, lazing about, eating my food, doing nothing. Oh, but Cynthia was doing perfectly well in your shop until you decided to sack her without any good reason. She was doing very well. Oh, she was doing very well by, by, by parading her body, shaking her buttocks, distracting my male customers, spoiling my business. Is that how she was doing very well? Edna, you are impossible. I don't blame you. I'm impossible, eh? When food comes at normal intervals, eh? And you know which football team is against the other? Arsenal against Manchester, Manchester against uh, United Emirates against uh, Liverpool. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because you think the world is a football field. Edna, you are talking to me, Ogo. I say, go ahead and fight. May the devil not push you to touch me one day. Watch TV. Watch TV. I'm just there against my neighbor. It's the same. Come on. Thank you with God Almighty. Don't leave me, please, Angel. You're all that I have now. See, Daddy has gone. Mommy has gone. You're the only one left. Please. I love you, Angel. Okay? Stay with me. Uh, Madam, you have not left. Please. Please, I beg you. Don't wear and die, please. We are doing all in our powers, but you have to help us too. I beg you in the name of God. Madam, this is not about God's name. We need 500,000 naira to carry out the heart operation on how to correct the hole. Otherwise... Doctor, I know. I know. But I beg you in the name of anything you believe in. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Most High. Find money. After the surgery, I will get some money and repay you. This is a hospital, not a charity organization. And instead of sitting here shedding tears, looking at her and talking to her, why don't you go out there and look for the money? Because the more you talk to her, the more her heart palpitates. She doesn't need that. Besides, the nurses are taking good care of her. Excuse me. I want to go and look for some money, okay? But I promise you, you will go home, okay? You will leave this hospital alive, even if it is the last thing I do. You will leave this hospital alive. 
Okay? I'll be back. Do you need anything? Okay. I'll be back, okay? Very soon. Hang in there, okay? time out to reassess your life. Think about your life and the direction in which it is going. <laughs> Does she not think in perfect? <laughs> this one. <laughs> All she does is think about how to open her legs for me. Please, 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 please. Allow me to handle that. Handle what? Don't I have the right to talk in my house again? Don't I have the right? Cynthia, where are you coming from? Oh, please, please let, that, let, let, let us leave that one. Listen, tell this cheap whore to go back to where she's coming from. Else, there won't be peace in this house. As for you, the result of your waka waka, your lifestyle will soon be announced. You think after messing yourself up, a man will put you in his house? <laughs> you are the biggest fool that ever lived. Auntie. If you wish, your prayer for me is that, then I promise you you'll be disappointed. Eh? You'll be disappointed, Auntie. Are you talking back at me? Are you talking back at me? Come back now, before I open my eyes, before the count of three, you are out of my house. One! What's in the two? Leave my house now, get out! Did you see that? Did you see that? But you sit there, you sit there, and, and she insults me. Did you allow me to scold her? Did you allow me to talk to her? I asked you to allow me to handle this. But no, you wouldn't. So what do you want me to do? Strangle her? Yes! If you have to strangle her, strangle her! If you have to kill her, kill her! Anyway, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with you. Bunch of lazy lots. My uncle like me. Cynthia! Cynthia! Oh, uncle. Uncle, please. I want to see you. Look, I am late for an appointment. Maybe when I come back. Please, I have to see you now. Please. It's really urgent. Look, do you know what your bed has been all your life? No, sir. Stop on this. You always want to get what you want at all costs. Uncle, I would have finished saying what I wanted to say if I, if I had allowed me to start saying You said you're in a hurry. Okay. Uncle, please, I need money. I need money. Angel's health has deteriorated. I need money for the heart surgery, please. Do you see what I mean? Have you seen what I mean? Don't expect you to even mention that to me. Uncle, Angel is your sister too. You can't let her die, please. Where do you expect me to, to get 500,000 naira to give to you? Eh? Look, in a no-win situation, the wise throws in the towel. Uh, no. No. Uncle, I'm not throwing the towel. I can't... I can't let Angel die. She uh. will not die. Angel will not die. No. Uh. Okay, then go there and expunge the secret from her but just like that. Go and take it away like that by yourself. All your life you be very unreasonable. You are a problem child. You just say what you want to say or do what you want to do without using your head. Just 
this once. Just this one time. Last time, please. Help me. I have to save something. Please. Help me. Ask your wife. Please ask your wife. You know she has money. That's sweet. You are really a problem child. I should persuade my wife to give you one. are so happy. Yeah. You know, sometimes I wish I could just be that happy, you know. No. Half that happy. Cynthia. Oh. You can make yourself happy. How? How, Zeno? How? How can I make myself happy when the whole world is against me? The world is not against you. Toss all your worries to the wind and happiness will filter in through the tiniest of space. What tiny space? See, you know, what space? You talk as if you don't know anything about my life. I mean, what did I ever do wrong? Do you know how my parents died? Oh, Cynthia, let it go. Please, just let it go. Then I dropped out of school. Angel. Angel has had a hole in her heart since she was born for crying out loud. What did that girl ever do wrong to the world? It's okay. Just a little girl. But this is not the route to happiness. You know, I need to ask her a question for me. Is there really a God somewhere? No, really. It hasn't gotten to that. Why? Everyone bears a cross. What cross? Didn't God say that he gives us cross that we can bear? He said he would never give us a cross that is beyond us that we cannot carry. Why is my own cross so big for me to carry, Zeno? Let's just keep praying. Pray. Yes. I'm tired of praying, Zeno. My knees, my knees have gone sore. Because that prayer has killed my knees. I'm tired. Yes. your uncle was going to talk to your aunt on your behalf. Let's just pray that God touches her heart so that she can bring out the money for Angel's operation. And yet that? There's nothing God cannot do. Hurry up with that money. Come I finished me. counting the money, man. It's complete. It's an hundred and fifty thousand. 
Are you sure the money is complete? Yes. You finished counting? Don't let me live for one cover out of my money. If I live for one cover, not only will you get sacked, you will replace that money a hundred times. You hear me? What is it now? What are you looking for? What kind of person is that? Don't I have the right to visit our shop anymore? Our shop? Anyway, what is it? Well, um, I came to discuss something very important with you. Wait. You want us to talk about something so important that you cannot wait for me to get back to the house in the evening? I want us to talk about Angel. What is it about Angel again? Edna, Cynthia needs her help for Angel's operation. Wait, you mean the reason why you're in this shop this afternoon is to ask me for money for, for that, 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 that girl? That girl, as you call it. Is a creature of God. She has blood running in her veins, just like you and I. Ugo, I can see you are suffering from joblessness. If you had been meaningfully engaged, you wouldn't be here talking nonsense. Remember that Cynthia's parents gave us hope when we were almost hopeless. In fact, it is the money that you used to open this shop. Is this the way you want to pay them back? Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to blackmail me? No, no, no. Don't even go there. Let me tell you, if Cynthia's parents were alive today, they would have chased that girl into the street for waywardness. You hear me? By the way, you should be happy I used the money very well. You should be happy that I'm very resourceful. What if I were people who would have thrown the money into the air? How much is this one that they even gave me? And if you want, I'll give you back the money right now. So okay. If that's the way you want it, it's alright. time I pray, the angels in heaven, they tease me, they say to me, why would you a mortal pray for an immortal? Mm. Auntie, she's not getting any better. <sighs> My dear, be filled with gladness. Angel will not die premature death. That I can assure you. Auntie, if I cannot raise the money for her surgery, she'll die. Auntie, is there not something else we can do to help solve this situation? Something like what? This could be a spiritual problem. Yes, maybe all these witches are with that or banjay mami what? Eh? Yes now. Mm. Well, let's go and see some spiritualists. Maybe they can help do something to help solve our problem. You may know these uh, devilish spiritualists around all over the place. No. But you know that the devil cannot give solace. He gives you with the right hand, he collects with the left hand double. We just have to continue praying and hoping that Angel will be alright. And I can always assure you she'll be fine. It's okay, it's just a suggestion. You don't like it. Let's just keep praying. She'll be alright.
just keep hoping and praying. Alright, thank you. you. Remember the instructions? Yes, I do. Just get a girl, take her to a hotel, and make love to her. Once we are through, she'll be unconscious. And then I should open the briefcase. Good luck. Thank you.
beautiful queen. Please come over. It's you I'm talking to. Don't you know you're such a sweet girl? Please come into the car. I want you to go and spoil a little. Come on in. I've got the money. Ebu Munko Mudi Wadada. Dinjariba is there. Look at the money. Come on. This is too money. I'm going to spoil you. Smile for me, baby. Give me this light. Or oh, one day will I tell God it's my killer? You actually feel like the one who is like a killer, you know? No, baby, don't just misunderstand issues. What I'm saying is that you can kill me tonight with, you know what I mean? Right? <laughs> so, what will I tell God? Anyway, all the same, you've not still told me your name. Cindy. Oh, Cindy, baby. What a sweet name. <laughs> and I'm Jerry. Jerry. Jerry the B. Jerry the big boy. The biggest boy in town. You like that? Yeah, I like it. I, like it. <laughs> I love that. That's good. That's good. Um, uh, you know, I think that should be the attendant. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, I hope you got the other one. Yes, yes. Everything is good. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see. Yeah, keep it. Don't be there. Don't be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is the whole thing? 2,500. 2,005? Yes. You calculated well? Okay. Okay. Uh, 2,005. Anyway, have that. That's just 5,000 naira. Yeah. Just keep the change. Yeah. It's for you. Okay. Thank you, sir. That much of money. Yes. No, no, no. Don't worry. That's just a ticket change. You will enjoy money. Yeah? yeah, with me. So let's just have a drink. Okay. Yes. Yes. Enjoy us. Oh my god. So which one will you drink? Anyone, anyone is okay. Anyone. Does. Ah. Don't mind. That is chicken change. I will get more. If you like, get it poor. That's okay, that's okay. Thank you. This beer is messing up. <laughs> The beer knows that uh, you're... Don't worry, I have my money. Enjoy. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. <coughs> enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? I've not seen a lady as pretty as you are. It's just as if you dropped from heaven above. <laughs> Smile, baby. Keeping a straight face doesn't suit your beauty. <laughs> so... Oh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> yes. I think we should go into action now. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> That's my baby. Yeah. If I'm coming back. All right. Just a minute. I'm waiting for you. All right. Okay, 
Yes. And then let's 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 go to the bed. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You can lie down. house this night? No, madam. Efosa, I am asking you for the last time, did anybody leave this house this night? I am going to hit you. Did you open the gate for anyone this night? I know not the gate for anyone. Efosa, if you don't tell me if you open the gate for anyone this night, I am going to have you sacked in the morning. I said for a small madam. What? Who is small madam? And this Cynthia. You opened the gate for Cynthia this night? For what? She said that you sent her message to the market. I sent her to the market at 12 midnight. Go back to your post. And make sure you lock that gate. I'm just trying to alert you now. Oh, you, you, you said fire now. Did you say fire? I'm just trying to alert you over something. Can't I get a good sleep in this house anymore? What useless sleep? What useless sleep when you brought in a prostitute into my home? I have warned you to stop using such dirty word for my niece. Oh, sorry, sir. That I use such a dirty word for your immaculate niece. Who has sneaked out of the house into the night to do that dirty thing called prostitution? What are you blabbing about? Oh, I'm blabbing. All right, let's go to her room and see who is blabbing. See if she's there. Cynthia said good night to me by by around uh, 11 p.m. Yes. Hmm. Am I not blabbing? Let's go to her room and see now. Let's go. Why are you blabbing? Let's go.
people they call the force are this kind of fine money. Who you make this invest? So which people? Which are which are? Now wow. Where they call me since we're visiting our witches and wizards, they call me since. You took the trick. Only four bottles. Madame, don't. Eh? Madame, don't wait. Since four o'clock. I can't see the two. First, after all the planning, we will do. Huh? No, madame. What's the deal with that now? Professor, I don't need kids. Shh. What did you do? First, I showed up. I said, shh. I didn't need to hear anything. You're about to be your paradise. Combined prostitution with Arab. Hmm? Hot chick. Sinti baby. You're welcome. You do well. <laughs> Uncle, I'm, I'm not my kid. Can't I be left to look for once? I'm not my child for crying out loud. You know what? I am going to call the police. Hmm? I am going to call the police because I'm not going to hide an Arab in my house. It's called aiding and abating. That's what I'm going to do. Against the law. Edna, please. Edna, please. What? Please, what? Oh, wait, wait. You want to team up with her? You want to team up with her? You are now an accessory to Amrabi, right? You know what? Fire squad straight. Edna, please. This, this is a domestic affair. This, this is a family affair. What? Family? Which, which family? Wait, wait, wait. Which one? This prostitute left the house since last night. Comes back with her own shot of the loot and you say, I should keep quiet. Neighbors! Neighbors, come and see! I have an old man in my house! It's all my husband's name! Okay. 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 okay, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Okay, my beautiful Give me the briefcase. Leave this briefcase for me. I said, give it to me. Leave the briefcase, my friend. Hey, it's so serious, so. Now, I want you to answer three simple questions. One, where did you sleep last night? Secondly, where did you get this briefcase from? And thirdly, what is inside it? Answer now. Hardened criminal, answer! I say answer before, say that kisses your lips. Why are we from wasting time asking you? What's the number? What's the number of this place? I don't know. What's the number? Don't worry. Let me have it. Hey, my neighbor! My neighbor! My neighbor! My neighbor! Oh, my God. 
Again today, I've been so worried. I'm sorry, honey. I'm okay. Really, I am. Something wrong. Nothing is wrong and nothing is going on. Just that I attended the Lagos branch of my village age grade meeting. I never knew to run the slate. Maybe you should have called me. I know, I know, sweetheart, I know. And I'm sorry, okay? okay. Uh, Amy, Daddy called several years. Your father? But he has my numbers. Your phones were switched off. Did, did, did he tell you why he was calling? Not really. He just wants to know how you're doing. I guess you should call him. <laughs> no, that's alright. That's all right. Honey. Are you in any form of trouble? Trouble? <laughs> not at all. Why should I be in any form of trouble? No, I am not in any form of trouble. <laughs> hmm. So tell me, what's for Tina? Your favorite? That's my girl. Hmm? Go see it, okay? Go. <laughs> You are welcome. Whoever directed you to my temple directed you aright. I am King David. I have the solution to every problem. And so, my friend, what is it that bothers your heart? Great one. King David, my friend. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. King David. Yes, I have a serious problem, and that's why I'm here. I imported some containers of goods for my business, but I also smuggled in some hard drugs, precisely cocaine. Some government officials impounded these containers at the wharf. Since then, I have been running helter-skelter, trying to secure the release. I have met with men in higher offices. I have pushed buttons right, left and center. I have done everything, but to no avail. Please, King David. I need your help. Save me from this dear situation, please. My friend, your problem is a very simple one. As you speak right now, your problem is already being solved in this celestial world. And all we have to do in this terrestrial world is to fulfill all righteousness. And to that effect, you have to make some little sacrifices. Are you prepared? Yes, King David. What exactly do you want me to do? Two hardcover copies of the seven books of Moses. One carton of red candles shot of two. I repeat, shot of two. Seven left legs of the tortoise. And there, my friend, you must get the clothes you wore the day the containers were seized. 
It must be cut into seven pieces and tie them with a black ribbon and a red ribbon. King David, how do I go about getting the seven left legs of the tortoise? Can I give you the money? You yourself? must get them yourself. All by yourself. And then, you must make a huge sacrifice by saving the life of a dying soul. Precisely, a child. All these in three days. And the time starts now. Uh. King David. Now. Extent. Huh? How many briefcases were you hoping to steal before you can gather the money for the surgery? You know, I, I know, I know. I, I, it was a very dumb thing I did. I don't know. But you know, that briefcase was big. The guy had money. It looks like you. Know. But that briefcase. Was it that it was the snake that was inside? Or it was money? I don't understand. You know, Zeno, I can almost swear that there was money in that briefcase. That guy has money, oh. He has lots of money. There was money in that briefcase. I, I carried that briefcase home. Then Uncle and Auntie Edna were struggling for the briefcase. Then they fell the thing down. Then all of a sudden, a snake started crawling out of this briefcase. I have never seen anything like this in my life. It's very strange. You don't know what you're talking about. It was the snake that was in the briefcase all along. See, no. He was money in that briefcase. Can someone be carrying a briefcase full of snakes up and down everywhere? Just count yourself lucky, Cynthia. That guy was a ritualist. Yes. Or you haven't heard about them before. Listen. The plan was, if he succeeded in making love to you, he would go unconscious. Then the snake would go inside you, remove your womb, and they will use it for ritual. And of course, you will die. Die? Yes, die. You mean I would have been dead by now? Hey! No wonder. There was a way that man was behaving. There were some big questions he was asking me. I've actually been thinking about your situation. Do you know that temple on Jasper Road? Temple? Yes. What temple? The other day we saw some clean rides parked outside and you were wondering what they were doing there. The one by the bank? Yes. What about it? Instead of you going to the streets, why don't you walk up to the priest and ask him to do something for you? Priest Zeno? Yes. What is my business with priests? He's a very powerful man. He has done work for lots of people. I have this friend that was barren then. She went to him and now she has kids. Is he a man of God? Is he a church? Cynthia, at this rate, we don't have any choice. Let's just go there. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't, okay. Okay. It's not like I have a better choice anymore. I don't know. Zeno, I don't know. Is it possible for you to give me 4,000 naira? I need to buy some drips for Angel. Today? I need it like... Like right now. The doctor said I have to bring it today. 
Okay, I will see if I can collect some money from my fiancé when he comes back. Down, my daughters. Whatever brought you here must have been of serious trouble with your soul. And what can I do for you? My my friend has a little girl in the hospital who needs a heart operation. Her uncle and her auntie who have enough money have refused to pay the bills. Um, what we need is for you to just do anything that will help us raise money for, for the bills. Just 500,000 naira. Where is the child? Lakeside um, Hospital, Sulary. And what is the child called? Angel. Angel. The problem is indeed as simple as the solution. You have to get a virgin white car, a roll of white clothes, and a golden necklace belonging to your uncle or his wife. What? Um... But sir, we have already paid the consultation fee. That was the consultation fee. But this is the operational fee. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. But in the alternative, your friend shall sleep in the temple for one month. Um. So, okay, um, we'll bring the white, the white roll of cloth. At least let's start from there. If that is what you have for the moment, I can accept. Okay. Fucking David is a magnanimous man. Ah, 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 ah. But I must warn you, you will bring the rest as soon as your problems are being solved. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kiko. And let me tell you that you will begin to see the manifestations immediately. Rise, my daughters, and go in peace. Thank you. Thank you.
you have finally achieved your goals. She has done her worst. Mm. I wouldn't have believed this myself. Mm. Let me know. Leave me, just leave me. Can't walk. I wouldn't have believed this myself. Where did she get the snake from? <laughs> what is it for? Don't you know she brought it to kill me? But God knows my hands are clean. That's why he rescued me. Ah! Just okay, sorry. Huh? Leave me, just leave me. Leave me. What would I do with this girl? Ah. What else? Hmm? You give an award for almost killing me. That's what you will do. Eh? You know, I'm not surprised at all that is happening. In case you're thinking of bringing her back into this house, you better get her a coffin that is befitting a harlot. Excuse me, please let me just pass. Let me go for you. Leave me, I can open myself. King David, you sent for me. Yes, I sent for you, my friend. The spirit has revealed. Angel is the name of the child that must be saved. She is at the Lakeside Hospital, Surulere. Go. Go! Yes, King David. Thank you. But I must warn you, do not take the glory when you pay the money. The glory belongs to the celestial beings. Yes, King David. And do not forget my balance. 200,000 Naira only. <laughs> doctor, no, doctor, please don't tell me. Please, I'm being regret for my please. Don't tell me it's true, please. Sorry, please. Of course it's true. No! She's dead. The nurses are getting her ready for the operation. What operation? The heart operation, of course. Huh? Doctor. She did it for me. Doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Doctor. God bless you. One man came and paid the money yesterday. A man? You mean you didn't send a man? A man came and paid the money anyway. That's it. You are kidding me. You are putting my legs. No, not. It's not a joke. Please, go and wait for me in my office. You have to sign some papers before the operation can commence. the money you sent for Angel's medical bill. So Angel will leave again. Oh, I don't know what is going on. No. What is I have received the money you sent for the medical bills. I did not send any man to give anybody any money. Yeah. What money? A man came in with some money for Angel's medical bills. He even gave me 20,000 naira for my upkeep. You come to keep. For your upkeep? Yes, 20,000 naira. Any man to give you any money. I did not even I did not send the man to pay for angels medical bills. So I don't I don't know what is yeah, going on. You're joking. A man came in here with the man. I'm joking. I don't I don't know who this man Anna, is. You're still here. Come and sign the papers. Thank you. 
about to tell you should not go beyond these walls. It's very, very confidential. Radio without battery. Oh, okay, okay. Cross my heart. Go ahead. You know, Cynthia has been in so much trouble lately. And you know, most of those problems are self-inflicted problems. Oh, Chola, this don't start. Please. Okay, go ahead. Cynthia and I went to Davis Temple to seek solutions for her problems. Is there any church? No. The temple down Jasper Street. That's a devilish Voodoo temple? No! It's not a devilish temple. He's a very powerful man of God. The one on Jasper Street? Yes. On your left? Yes. For oh, granted, it's a Voodoo temple. It's a devilish temple. What are you doing there? Juna, please hear me out. Please. You know what? I think you should severe every relationship with this friend of yours. But that isn't what I was going to tell you. I don't care if that was what you were going to say. I think you should save every link with her. What is wrong with you, Jenna? Why are you being so insensitive to other people's plights? Zeno, I'm being insensitive. I think Cynthia is becoming a bad influence. I mean, what could she be looking for in a devilish temple? Ah! I was about to confide in you. I don't want such confidentiality, okay? I don't want it. I mean, everything about this, your friend is spooky. There's nothing spook or what, whatever about my friend. You're just being myopic. What did you say? Did you raise your voice at me and say I'm being myopic? All right. Since you have refused to think, Let's put it this way. What could she be doing at that temple? Don't think about it. One day, one idiot will wake up from somewhere and talk her into money rituals. Yes. And you know her best candidates? You and I. But most preferably, you. What are you talking about, Juna? 
What I am talking about is that you have refused to think. You think what you see upon videos are fictions? Baby girl, those are no fictions. They are real. Real story. And you know what? I've made my point on this issue. Jonah. I've made my point. Baby, please. I was about to tell you something. Oh, I don't want to hear it. In fact, I don't want to see Cynthia in this house again. That is fine now. I don't want to see Cynthia again. Just operation. It was successful. How did you get the money? I don't know. I, I got to the hospital and they said a stranger came and paid the money. How is it possible? <laughs> You're shocked too, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't care. I don't know. You know, God answers prayers. It could be an angel. Well, maybe it's God's angel. Which angel? You don't want to give me my own credit, right? Listen. Remember the priest said that you will begin to see signs immediately. This is it. The medicine that the priest gave us worked on your uncle and your auntie. That's the connection. Could my uncle have paid the money? Who else, Cynthia? <laughs> um, come on. Let's go and show them our position. No. <laughs> I can't go to that house, though. I can't. No, 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 Cynthia. You have to go. Especially now that Juna said you should come and pack your things and leave the house. Juna said that? Why? I don't know. You know, Jonah, it can be very, very erratic. Never worry. Let's go to the house. Come on, let's go. What? what? I saw Angel. Really? She was really looking really, 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 really oh, happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I mean, everything is just going on. I can't wait to see her. God, she's so good. So, what are we going to see her? I'm going to see her right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to see her right now. Thank you for your kind gestures, sir. May God bless you abundantly. Cynthia, what are you talking about? Is this the way you want to end your life, Cynthia? Whoever cast this spell on you will never see good in his life. Yeah. Uncle, I don't understand that. I don't expect you to understand what I'm talking about. Do not think to understand us when we speak. But I... But what? What are you doing? What did you come Sir, she just came here to show her appreciation. That is all. Over what? You came to show her appreciation? Okay, maybe you gave her the snake with which she came to kill us in this house, eh? No! So why, why are you talking like this now? It's not uh, true. Begs of the same feather. Uncle, I know, I know what I did the other time. I can't explain it. It was a mistake. I'm really, truly sorry. Well, you still found it in your heart to help me pay for Angel's operation despite all that happened now. I just, I'm really grateful, sir. That's all. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I never paid anybody's hospital bill. You know I wouldn't pay. You know I don't have the money to pay. Maybe it's your Okay, Uncle, maybe it's Auntie Edna that paid the money. Can I say thank you to her? In fact, two, two, two of you, two of you are sick. You are sick. Satan's agent. 
I said we didn't pay any bill. Don't you understand? <laughs> Good afternoon. Auntie Emma, good afternoon. Um, I just came to thank you for helping us to pay the money. Yes. That's all. Thank you, ma. What is she talking about? She said you paid the hospital bill for Angel. Did you pay such money? Wait for me, eh? Look, look, I am telling you, if you still like your lies, better get out of this place now. You better get out now. I know my wife. Yeah, oh, I'm telling you. come back. Oh, yesterday. Obi, you have missed. You know, see, you have missed. The containers have been released. But how, how would you know you just came back yesterday? <laughs> no, seriously, I am I'm so, so happy. The good thing about, look, the drugs can go. It can go. The most important thing is I am still on the positive side of my father-in-law. <laughs> look, look, drink, drink a bottle of more white on me. No, in fact, make it make it two, three, three. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. How did I get it released? You're asking me this question. You know, I'm I'm connected. I I pressed one or two buttons and <laughs> open sesame. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Uh, okay, we'll talk later. Have a good day. Ooh. How is Angel? I guess our operation went well. How is Auntie Ngozi? I'm sorry, I don't know you. I am the fellow that paid Angel's medical bills. What else is it? I, it, it's alright, it's okay. So you mean you're the mystery man? I am not a mystery man. I'm only um, a philanthropist. Every other month I visit less privileged homes, you know, the orphanages, hospitals, to see how I can help in my own little way. Actually, I got to know about you because I made inquiries. I am supposed to remain anonymous, but hey, I couldn't resist saying hello when I saw you. I, I, hope, I'm, I hope it's alright. Really, it's alright. And um, sorry if you girls think me too pushful, but um, why don't you join me for lunch? I was actually on my way to having lunch. Hey, come on then, let's go, you know, have lunch. Oh, hold, hold, hold it. <laughs> go on then.
since I met you, life has given me a new meaning. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you too. It's a pleasure to be of help. But Cynthia, there is one thing about you that bothers me, that really, really bothers me. You never like your family discussed. Tell me. I want to know now what exactly happened. Um, my guy. I think we shouldn't talk about this now. No, Cynthia, no. They say a problem shared is a problem half solved. Talk to me. Look, I am ready to erase every painful memory in your life. So please, share with me. Um. It all started when I was. Twelve years old. I drove a car into my parents. After that incident, nobody knew how to relate with me. I became like an outcast. Nobody was willing to help me. I started doing one odd job after the other so that I could feed, so that I could eat. I was raped. But I had a job. I just wanted so bad to give life to something. I wanted to give her life. Found out that Angel was sick. She was born with a hole in her heart. All my efforts to get money for the operation proved abortive. There was nowhere else to turn. And just when I was beginning to lose all hope. came along, just like fate, and then you saved us, and for that I'm so grateful. Hey, it's alright, it's okay, stop crying, stop crying. Now I understand how you feel. So Angel is your daughter. No wonder both of you are real close. But don't worry, it's going to be alright. Like I said earlier, I am ready to erase every painful memory in your life. I will be your father. Your mother, your everything. I'm going to stand by you. 
you will never want. You will never suffer again. Okay? But I want you to forget the past. I want you to forge ahead and make a new life for yourself. Pick up your pieces and move on. I will be beside you to give you support. Okay? It's alright. So, don't do this. Savior, you don't need to worry anymore. I am going to be with you every step of the way. I am going to be your bulwark against danger. I'm going to be your support, your pillar. You can lean on me. Don't worry, it's going to be all right, okay? I promise you that I'm going to be beside you. You can call on me whenever you need me, okay? It's all right. It's not right. <laughs> what isn't right? I love you. I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> You're not hurting anyone. You're married. I can't do this. It's not right. Look, it's alright. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Let's take it one step after the other. One day after the other. Like you know. Monday will always come after Sunday. But don't worry. It's going to be alright, okay? Join the trade. I don't blame you. I don't blame you because I'm living in this thing you call a house. What did you say? You help me. What? Jonah! How dare you? What is that? What is going on? Bad luck! What you get? Shut I'm sorry, but I think it's ungentlemanly for you to raise your hand against the lady. Who made you a charge of my life? Yeah, if she leaves, I leave. No, no, Zina, please, please, don't, don't say that. Don't say that, please. Shut up! If she leaves, you leave. If Cynthia leaves, I leave too. You dare me? Yes. You dare me? Yes. Watch it. No, Jonah! I don't blame you. I am tired of this, your big headedness. I will go in there and pack my things and I will leave. You talk to me like that. I don't blame you. Come back to me. I don't blame you. Stop it, 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 you. It's always my fault. Nothing is a fault, okay? Don't worry. It's always my fault. It's okay. It's okay. Just go.
Today, ma. Good afternoon. So, you like it? Like what? Come here. This is your apartment. I just want you to be more comfortable. For me? For you, yes. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It's alright, it's alright. Look, if the world could be acquired, I would buy it for you. But it's, it's so big, I mean, all by myself. Hey, hey, hey Cynthia, come on. Nothing is too big and nothing is too expensive. Just wait. This is the beginning of better things to come. Come on, let me show you. Come on. Let me show you. Come on. Come on, let's go. I feel it's rather too early for you to start bothering yourself with Angel. Why don't you go to the city 
to take care of yourself while you live angel with me. Ah, uh -uh. Auntie, so when will the time come? Every woman needs a home. <laughs> Auntie Ngozi, let me tell you, the man that paid for Angel's medical bills has been taking good care of me. Really? Yes, in fact, he actually rented me an apartment. Really? Yes. But that is not a home. A woman can only boast of a home when she has a husband. Auntie, you are always saying that. Okay, that okay. At least now that we have done angel surgery and it is successful, mm -hmm. then I can have time and peace of mind to take care of myself. Um, who knows? Anything could happen very soon. I think so too. Auntie, <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is her name again? Her name is Favor. Oh, Favor. She's such a big girl now. She is. She was the same one I picked up when she was two months old. Okay, the baby you brought from Newby. Mm, right. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And well behaved too. Oh, Auntie, well done Hope, for all the selfless work you're doing for all these children. You know, it's not easy to take care of other people's children. Mm -hmm. Thank you for appreciating me. Angel. Cynthia. Okay, you mean you, madam? I must say, I'm not sure for the past, I mean, for the past, how I many days now? Me, I never see him. You know, now, guy, okay, you know, women, just they walk up and down. Yeah, they walk out, scatter, anywhere where they want, anytime they like, just enter house. Now, so, shut, shut up. up, shut up. Did I ask you that? Go back to your duty post. Where has Cynthia been for two days now?
Come inside, come inside. <laughs> How about you? This is the place. Even our house. Everything here, you can play with anything here, okay? Anything here. You can play with anything here. There's nothing like don't touch this or don't touch that. You know, you're gonna have a nice time. There are so many places, so many places that I want to take you to. We'll go there, you will have all these things you can play. There's there is a, um a Jangorova. There's a lot of Jangorova for children to play. You like that, Abby? Okay, um, we're gonna go around town. Just you and I, you know, okay? We're gonna have a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Now, this house, very big. You can run around anywhere you want to go to. Now, I'm gonna show you your room again. you been this past week? Oh no, it's not up to a week. I was away for like three uh, days. I actually went to get... Hey, even for one hour, I demand to know your every step all the way. I am now your father and your mother, your parents. Do you understand? Look, Mike, you, you really don't have to bring my parents into this. I mean, I only... Look, Cynthia, you're just being unnecessarily sentimental about your parents. Look, I rather expect you to apologize to me for the headache you've cost me this past three days instead of dwelling on the dead. Look, shit happens, you know. People live and die. So I don't scare a big deal about all things. Stop, stop. stop. Don't. Don't you ever, ever. S Cynthia, come back here. Cynthia, come back here. Cynthia. Sit down. Sit down with the store right now. Open the door. Open. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Here. I brought you this. Really, uh, please forgive me. Honey, I am sorry about what happened the last time. I was so worried, so concerned about what could have happened to you. Please. Mike, you traveled to Abuja. I tried calling your phone. It was not going. I had no other means of reaching you. What was I supposed to do? I know. And that's why I'm sorry. Please. Look, all that does not even annoy me. What annoys me the most is the fact that you brought my parents into that discussion. You know how much I hate anybody bringing up my parents in any discussion. Why did you do that? Honey, it's all My right. parents did you nothing. Please accept my apologies, okay? Look, I promise it won't happen again. Word of honor, I promise. What was that? Oh, Angel? Would you mind telling me what she's doing in this house? She stays with me. <laughs> she's actually staying in this house. Yes, is there any problem? I should be the one asking you what the problem is. 
because you didn't deem it fit to tell me that you were going to bring her to the house. Mike, you rented this apartment for me. I guess that gives me the right to bring anyone I want to stay with me into this place. No, no, no. Not at all. It doesn't. I come here and I stay here too. And I guess that means that I have to take permission from you even when I want to call for smoke. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. That is exactly what I expect you to do. And who knows your relations from here, there and everywhere. You're taking her back first thing tomorrow. Mike, <laughs> that has to be a joke or something. To hell it's not a joke. Don't you see that she'll be a distraction to our fun? To what fun? To what fun, Mike? She's just a kid for crying out loud. Do you think so? Look, when I want to have fun, I really have fun. Now, would we be able to run around naked in this house and do the silly things that we want to do when she's here? Think about it. You're taking her back first thing tomorrow morning. Mike, I am sorry I cannot do that. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, no, you will. You will take her back. Because it... <laughs> you will take her back. Because what? Because what, Mike? No, say it. I dare you to say it. Because I will throw you out of this house and lock it up. No, nothing is the matter. It's not every time a man should eat. I am just not hungry, okay? Thank you. Mike, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to us? Our marriage, for God's sake. Excuse me? Mike, I have done everything humanly possible to make this marriage work. But all you've done is frustrate me. What are you insinuating? Don't take my respect for your parents for granted, do you understand? It is you who is taking me and my parents for granted. Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think I don't know what you're doing out there? Mike, what is the name of your latest mistress you're keeping out there? Shut up! Are you mad? What sort of a question is that? I said, what is the name of your latest mistress? And I said, shut up! How dare you question me? I've been thinking all of this, Mike, because I love you. Because I want this marriage to work. If you don't consider that, consider your son. Ah, son, for God's sake. Can't see. You're beginning to sound ridiculous. Mike. Excuse me. Michael. Street, off Natufi, Agudasu Lere. 
Modi Street, yes. Seriously, are you coming right now? <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. Please hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm waiting for you, okay? All right, all right. See you then. talk about that later, okay? I had to change my phone because of Jonah. You know, after he broke my heart, I don't want to come near him. I don't want anything to do with him any longer. Anyway, let's forget about um, Robert Mike. Ah, he's okay. That guy has been a blessing in your life. <laughs> the sort of man any woman deserves. Mm. You're so lucky. Yeah. Cynthia, is there a problem? See, no. He wants me to send Angel away. What? Why? I don't know. He says he wants me to be here all by myself. He doesn't want anybody else to stay here with me, not even Angel. He just wants me to be here for him alone. If sending Angel away will make this relationship grow stronger, then let it go, at least for now. No. No! No! I mean... No! I want Angel to stay with me. Otherwise, why could I agree to this relationship in the first place? Why? Sophia, just, just take it easy. Don't be a fool. If you don't allow her to go, you will lose Mike and you will lose this house. Is that the kind of thing you want for Angel and yourself? But that is not fair. Angel needs me. You know that. I know. And Mike knows that Angel needs you. And I believe he will support her wherever she may be. I don't want anybody to take care of her wherever she will be. I want her to be with me. I want to take care of her. She deserves it. Yes, just in time, Cynthia. Just in time. It's okay. Please. Come on, cheer up, girl. Get me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to drink? What do you have? Alright, I'll get you something, please. <laughs> Make it snappy. You can come with me in the kitchen if you want. Oh, I'm your guest. Cynthia. I need to move on to the kitchen. I'm talking about, eh? Hey, hey, I just. There's this uh, fine gentleman I want to talk to you about. Gentleman, he's from a very good family, he's even ready for marriage. Auntie, I, 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 I cannot marry a man like this. I'm not even saying you should marry a man in your life. You get to know and meet each other. I can even arrange it. But I only came home to drop Angel. I did not come to meet up with suitors. Hey, my dear, listen to me. Of all the treasures in life, the most valued is marriage. Give a woman the whole thing in the whole wide world and take away marriage. The life of that woman remains in Yes. Okay, Auntie, I'll meet up with you. Okay. I insist, oh. I insist. All right. Now, can I get you something to eat or drink? Auntie, I'm fine. Auntie, now that Angel has not been to school for me, well, I hope there's not going to be any problem in our school. Don't worry about that. Do I need to come to our school with you? I'll give myself.
I'm telling you, this guy is great. Really? Really. He's good. He's good looking. He's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an architect. Mm -hmm. And he's got a good car. Hi. Good house. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Nice guy. And I guess what? What? He's willing to take Angel. Oh, that's so sweet. He's, he's so nice. He says he's going to put her in school. He, he, he treats her like, he, like his younger sister, takes care of her, everything. Oh. He's okay with her. You're so lucky. I'm so happy. <laughs> what more can I ask for? Um, so, what about Mike? Yeah. Mike. Yes. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know too. Um, but has he ever proposed to you? No, no. That's totally out of the question. He already said it to me a long time ago that he would never marry me. He would never marry somebody else. Okay, um, I think I'll tell him. Wait, what? I'll tell him. No, no, I don't think you should. Do you know, Mike, he can be a little bit... Um, don't worry. I'll tell him. I know how to go about it. Trust me. It's me, the woman Zimo. Thank you. Alright, where am I Zimbo? Huh? He's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, are you going to be here? Of course. Come very early. I will. <laughs> I'm going to make you some nice stuff, you know. Please. You come and teach me how to do like your banga. No, it's the damn thing I will give you. The banga. Banga, no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we have to go and shop and buy some Definitely. Maybe when I'm going tomorrow, I'll just go to my shop. Please, Papa. Please. Do you believe that he wants us to get married immediately? So soon? I'm telling you, imagine me in the wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to shop here for all of us. Definitely. Um, so, where are you going to get your bride? I was thinking about one place like that, you know. Somewhere around there. 